Crypto Renegade here for you. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing another one of my first look videos for brand new hardware wallets. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at Arculus. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a backstory. But before we jump into the content, instead of letting you know or reminding you about my ebook, I actually just revamped my website, bitcoinlockup.com. Check it out, it's been fully redesigned. I have new platforms and some new announcements coming. So stay tuned for that, we're gonna get right into this. So to give you a little preface, if you're new to the channel or you don't know some of my past videos, I tend to be on top of the hardware wallet market. That's sort of my specialty, that's where I have experience and history and so on. And this came onto my radar. Actually, I was scrolling through Instagram and I got an ad for this. And obviously it piqued my interest and I started digging and doing more research. And I wanted to give you sort of my first impressions and some of the things that stuck out to me for this Arculus wallet. And so we're gonna get right into it. I, taking a look at their website, first things first, this wallet is not yet available. As you can see in the top right corner here, it says reserve now. So it, they're sort of doing a launch campaign. They're making sure that they can see what kind of feedback that they get. And we'll get into the pricing and some of the basic questions of coin support and how the wallet works and all that in just a second. But this is a new wallet. They're obviously advertising it on social media. You can pre-order it now. This here is a key card wallet. If you're unfamiliar with that, I talk a lot about a different types of wallets on my channel between USB wallets, air gapped wallets, uh, key card wallets, NFC wallets, Bluetooth wallets. There's different communication methods. And there's a few, few things that I wanna point out here. So uh, although this is interesting, this is the first metal key card wallet that I've ever come across or that I've ever seen. So I thought it was worth doing sort of an intro video. Looking here, it says, secure your crypto, secure your future, just your basic marketing stuff. We're gonna get to this in a second, but it says you need a safe, intuitive way to store and manage your crypto on the go. With Arculus air-gapped cryptocurrency hardware wallet, your private keys sit securely in your pocket, completely inaccessible to anyone but you. Okay, so, you have this, there's a sort of intro video where it gives the founder's story and why he did it and blah, blah, blah. None of it really substantial, it's just more of like, why why did I do this? You can come to the website here, get arculus.com if you really wanna watch it. But anyways, it's just your basic marketing story. So I wanna point out it is an NFC, which means it is indeed wireless and it does communicate via NFC, so the same wireless chip that you use with Apple Pay on your phone, same wireless chips you do for contactless payments at any restaurant or business or what have you, that is not air-gapped. Now, to be clear, air-gapped mean there is no direct communication method, no Bluetooth, no Wi-Fi, no NFC, no cellular, no cables, nothing that can connect you directly to the internet. Now, technically, NFC communicates directly with the internet. Now, I'm not saying that that's not secure. What I am saying is that they're advertising this as an air-gapped wallet, and it's not air-gapped. So that's the first thing I wanna point out and be critical of. Secondly, I have used NFC-based wallets in the past. I'm gonna link above right here my review that I did on the Sugi NFC wallet. They did send me one for me to test and do a review on and what have you, and it does appear at this point that they're out of business or at least they're not updating their app or they're not marketing or anything like that. Additionally, the Arculus iOS or Android app, I tried to download, it doesn't exist yet, meaning it still hasn't been released. So that's another thing. But I do like the simplicity of this. I don't want to bag on this wallet because again, I haven't tested it, I haven't used it, I haven't seen the, the user experience or the setup flow or any of that. But as far as simplicity's sake, if you want to market it as simple and safe and secure, that's fine. It uses touch ID, face ID, you set a pin, and then what they call three-factor authentication. So it's a basically like, you know, the Amex that come in metal cards. It's a metal credit card, basically and it has an NFC chip built in. You put it on the back of your iPhone or your Android and wirelessly communicates, which again, wireless, mobile, easy to use. You know that's one of my favorite things on this channel. We're gonna get in some of the details here. Again, they're marketing air gap technology. If you're watching this video and you work at Arculus, yes, it is wireless. Wireless is not air gapped. Air gap means there is no communication method that has any possible chance of being intercepted. 
A perfect example of an air-gapped wallet would be the Elipel Titan or the Keystone Pro. These communicate with a camera, they scan a QR code, and it does that. There is no communication method, no Bluetooth like you have on a Ledger Nano X, and no NFC like they're talking about here. I just wanted to be clear, wireless isn't air-gapped. So, just wanted to point that out. Again, basic marketing, blah, 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 EAL6 plus secure element chip. You know, secure element chips aren't necessarily a bad thing depending on how you look at it. Some people will say that because it's only been tested against certain attack vectors, therefore it can be exploited. But again, this is the same standards bank use. It's the same standards that a lot of secure facilities use and they've gone through a lot of rigorous testing and regulation and so on and so forth. So the Ledger Nano X, for example, uses CCEAL5+. Plus. This is a new standard, a newer edition, so in theory, on paper, it's technically more secure. Then they go into teaching people what is a hardware wallet, you know, why it's important, blah, blah, blah. If you watch my channel at all, you already know all this stuff. Then they do a comparison chart here where it's basically just ease of use, superior security, no charging, three factors, and then you know you have a Ledger Nano X, you have a Trezor, and then you have a hot wallet. Okay, I won't really comment on that. And then they have something here for business. And then I looked here at the bottom and it's with a company called Compo Secure, which we'll do some digging in a little bit, but just looking at this other tab here, this guy Adam Lowe, the same guy that's in the interest video, he is a PhD and he's a chief innovation officer for Compo Secure, which works with security chips in credit cards, debit cards, that kind of thing. So the guy at least knows what he's doing or at least has experience and we'll give it that. The second thing here is what cryptos are actually gonna be supported here when it launches. And as of filming this, this is brand new. It says today you can use it to buy or swap Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, all your basics. And then it says you can also store, meaning just hold the private keys for, and it gives examples of XRP, ERC20 tokens like AMP, Aave, USDC, TUSD, so stablecoins, Chainlink, WBTC, DAI, Uniswap, Maker, Compound, and the graph. These are all just sort of marketing. I guess the graph would be one specific native application that most other hardware wallets don't have. But again, these are all ERC20 tokens and most tokens are ERC20. They're starting to build tokens on Solana. They're starting to build tokens on Cardano. They're starting to build tokens on Polkadot. These are Ethereum tokens and ERC20 has been around for several years. So in other words, this is just gonna hold your standard coins. There's nothing that I can see that references staking, any new blockchains or anything like that. Just sort of doing your run of the mill basic coins, which is fine when you're starting a new wallet, there's other factors to consider, but you wanna make sure that you get the bulk of what people are using. And these are obviously the most popular in terms of what people expect. So I'm not gonna bash them on Coinsport. In fact, the Coinsport here is actually more, or at least allegedly sounds like it's gonna be more than launch than some other hardware wallets like for example Kibo which is a great high-end premium wallet but it only launched with four coins when it started so this is already out of the gate with more coins and again crypto hardware wallets are only as good as the coins you want to secure offline so make sure that obviously the coins that you want and you want to hold long term and you want to hold it offline just make sure that it's one of these simple as that now let's get to the price right now in the US, it's free shipping, it's $99. That's comparable to say, the new Cool Wallet Pro. Again, another wireless or card shaped crypto hardware wallet. That one is Bluetooth, this one is NFC. Again, just wanna reiterate, not air gapped, but wireless. And one of the things that I do like about this is that it does allow, allegedly, and I haven't tested this, but based on their marketing, it does allow swaps. So it allows you to swap coins. I don't know if it's using Uniswap or if it's using Aave or what DeFi protocol it's using or if it's using an exchange. But I wanted to point out that it does allow you to do swaps on certain coins, which again, isn't a default option on most hardware wallets. So that's pretty cool. It says here orders will begin shipping in late September, early October, 2021. You can reserve it now. Obviously there's some sort of promo code 
I'm going to reach out to them and see if they'll send me one so I can do an unbiased review. No affiliate links, nothing like that. I just wanted to give you sort of my first impressions and sort of what this looks like to me just right out of the gate. Again, I just don't like the way that they're marketing and not educating people the difference between air-gapped and wireless. There's a very clear security difference, but to the average user, I understand why they're marketing it that way because it's wireless, but people aren't that into these types of videos or don't study this like I do don't really understand the communication security difference. All that to say, it looks interesting, it looks cool. It's a different form factor. A metal card is still different than one of the Bluetooth ones. It looks like they're updating their website and their help center. And it looks like they're gonna have some sort of business solution here. I'm not sure exactly what that means. I hope it is a solution for businesses to start accepting crypto. That would be really cool. It says right here, Arculus provides seamless and strong key-based security by integrating our digital security technology into your platform. And it protects your customers from essentially access or authentication fraud reduction. It's actually an interesting because that's gonna be linking to Compo Secure, which is the parent company here. Again, I'm interested to see what happens with this. But if it's as simple as they claim it to be on the marketing, it looks compelling, but I'm gonna call it what it is. It's an NFC based wireless key card, crypto hardware wallet. And for $99, it's obviously competitively priced. Same as the Cool Wallet Pro, for example. If you want a true air gap wallet like an Elipel Titan or a Keystone Pro, I'll leave links for those in the description. There's gonna be a little bit more between 150 and 200 US, depending on what sales or deals are going on. So this is cheaper. And I uh, just wanted to kind of give you my overall views and opinions and first impressions on this because I'm usually very much on top of hardware wallets in general. And the last thing I wanna say is most of you, or at least some of you knew that I was kicked off YouTube for a while. This is why I'm relaunching and revamping my website, Bitcoin Lockup, so I can bring content directly without interference. I'm still gonna be on YouTube as long as they'll obviously allow me. And um, I just want to promote and reiterate, you know, my new channels that are coming. I'm going to have an announcement video coming out soon. But if you like what I do here, if I gave you any value, if I gave you any insight, if I helped you in any way, you know, check out BitcoinLockup.com. Download my free ebook, 100% free. Just show your support in any way you can so I can keep making this kind of content, which is my passion. So I appreciate you all. And I will see you guys in the next one. Crypto Renegade. Thank you.